Good morning. My name is K. Sarunan, Assistant Professor in the Department of Information Technology at K. Sandasami College of Technology. In this class, we can see the personal computer dismantling and assembling. Before that, uh, what is a computer? So, a computer is a combination of both uh, hardware and software means as an electronic device capable of receiving the information data from the user and execute the programs and uh, produce the results in the form of information or a signal. Then, what are the types of computer means uh, different uh, types of computer we are using? Uh, first one is the desktop computer. The second one is a gaming computer. The third one is the all in one. For this, a laptop or notepad, a netbook, a tablet, or smartphone, or the packet PC. Nowadays, we are use, most of them are using a laptop and a smartphone. All the all the works and the chatting and the information, all this are computer over the laptop and the smartphone or tablets. What are the components of the computer? Means uh, mainly three components are available. The first one is the hardware, then the software, and the third one is the fiber. The hardware components means we can touch and uh, feel the components. For example, the monitor, keyboard, mouse. These are the hardware components. The software uh, components means a set of instructions that enable the computer to perform the specific tasks. For example, we can add the two number means. There is a coding available there. Example the MS Office, Antivirus, Word, Excel, and Primeware. The Primeware is a computer program that provides a low level control device to specific order. It is usually stored in RAM, for example, temporary storage, or timing and control system. And our example is washing machine. And this is the overall structure of the computer. Or Order systems. The, what are the input device we can, what are the input signal we can send to the hardware uh, computer CPU? Then, what are the possible ways to produce the output? For example, we can scan, uh, we can scan the uh, image that uh, the signals uh, will be input to the processor, or a camera, keyboard, mouse. In this, in this way, we cannot uh, get the output signals. At the same time, the printer, speaker, uh, monitor, we can in this component will produce the output information. This device we cannot send uh, in, uh, input signal to the CPU. The next one is the memory messages. The memory message is a major part in the system because uh, nowadays all the system on the uh, smartphone or uh, laptop or tabs. You can use a uh, 4 GB RAM or 8 GB RAM like that, and the storage is 1 TB like that. This uh, in our system, the basic thing is it's able see this is a smallest unit of data, it fits either one or zero. All the information or whatever the image or movie, all the information are grand values will be stored in zero or one's format. And, uh, you will miss one half of a byte consists of four bits. Bytes means eight bits makes one byte. These are the unit name like that. Uh, four bits is equal to one nibble, eight bits is equal to one byte, thousand twenty four bytes is equal to one kilobytes, then thousand twenty four kilobytes is a one megabyte, and thousand twenty four megabytes is a one gigabytes, then thousand twenty four gigabytes is a one terabyte. Nowadays, we have more rarely used one terabyte hard disk to store the data. Yeah. Then, in the company side and the management side, they have used one petabyte, then again, one terabyte, terabytes, and terabytes are available in the memory unit. Mostly, we can use uh, one terabyte of data. Nowadays, we can use it's enough to store all the data. And as well as general components. Uh, in this uh, first uh, available in the computer means first one is a keyboard then second one is the mouse then a speaker then printer then monitor cable network cable SATA cable then uh, adapter printer cable uh, BIOS battery setups then uh, Intel memory chips BIOS battery SMBS 
part is then SATA cable then next insert chip RAM network fan network adapter cable port IDMA cable network setups then HDMI uh, cable network slot slot network port motherboard these are compression then as PC towers usually made in this, uh, all the CPU process usually made in steel or the plastics mostly uh, all the uh, uh, CPU process product manufactured or uh, steel or plastics only uh, different uh, varieties are there only uh, full tower mid tower mini tower then test tower test tower is uh, now we can use uh, all the colleges and home we can use a desktop some of the companies uh, or uh, organization use a uh, full tower cpu or mid tower cpu like that the next one is the uh, smbs uh, simple more power supply uh, in our um, cpu there are uh, more number of components are available there uh, small small particular chips are a uh, mother fan or a uh, micro board uh, adapter like that further we cannot give power supply with a capacity like that further we can use smbs this smb helps to separate the power supply to all the devices the first input for 240 volts we cannot give directly to the motherboard or microprocessor fan like that to avoid that we can separate the power supply and convert it to 5 volts or 12 volts like that SSA SMBS connector. SMBS connector have 24 pins and they are normally say 12 pins, 12 pins in a row. 10 plus 2, then 24 pins means 20 plus 4 pins. If the if the computer have the buttons, the power button you can on means the directly power comes to these 24 pins and separate the and separate the power into different parts. Then next one is the motherboard. This motherboard is the main uh, circuit board for the, all the general purpose. In this uh, entire motherboard, we can different more number of uh, circuits, pin, adapter, resistance like that. If any one of the damage means we cannot function well. At the same time, different ports, memory slots, uh, processor like that. Then next one is the processor insertion. Uh, raising a lot of light from the chip generally insert it. So, then once corner is missing pin and an arrow or flowery edge, there is a cut point corner in the socket. Lock the chip in place with the locking level. In this in the socket is a zero insertion four socket as near any force to insert a chip. Only in a one way. Then next one is the RAM. RAM, we uh, normally all the uh, mobile phones are the same. RAM is a major part. Uh, what is the RAM size? Uh, nowadays, uh, 1 GB, 2 GB RAM is not used mostly. They use uh, 8 GB RAM, 16 GB, or 32 GB RAM, like that. Is the RAM is a temporary storage uh, memory, random access memory. All the data are stored in temporarily in this uh, RAM. What is the system power uh, shutdown means or switch off means? The entire data we lost. It. The next one is our hard disk drive. This hard disk drive is a storage uh, storage device. All the data and information, videos, images are stored in this hard disk device. In this hard disk, mostly we uh, nowadays we use uh, uh, last uh, two, two or three years back the this 500 gigabytes only. Nowadays we can use uh, one terabyte. All the laptops, the new laptops, are about that. Comes in one terabytes hard disk. In this uh, hard disk, there is a, a magnetic field to store the data. All the data uh, stored in a digital information like zeros and ones. Then uh, store data rapidly wrote, uh, routing disk called platers. Each platter has a smooth magnetic surface on which the digital data are stored. And as well as the hard disk connectivity standard. In this we have two standards, one is the IDE and one is the SC, SI. 
first one is id is the integrated drive electronics also known as ht attachment standard interface connection storage device such as hard disk to cd rom drive are being two types of ADD name one is the beta and another one is SATA uh, mostly nowadays we can use all the devices SATA cable uh, some of the PCs the organization have the beta cable like that then are uh, different uh, beta and SATA cable uh, cable and the connectors the first one is the cable front view of the SATA cable then another one is the connect to the hard disk then third one is the beta connector the connector available in this uh, motherboard is a SATA cable and a SATA connector and a SATA way of hard disk. The next one is a BIOS, a basic input and output device. It controls most basic operations and response to scanning your computer in uh, hardware. Operating the BIOS, any custom existing errors, support new CPU, support new hardware, etc. It is a program such as made accessible to the microprocessor with an EOM chips. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, thank you.